Hey guys, this is Kind Master versus Final Cut Pro comparison. There's gonna be some similarities and of course some differences. And this should be interesting and let's go to the video. Before I jump to this video, I just want to say the person that suggested this video is Abyan Code Gaming. So thank you so much and shout out to you. And the movie trivia shout out goes to Gold Gaming YT. And yes, you were correct. The quote was from The Christmas Chronicles. Congrats on getting that right and shout out to you. Let's start with the very obvious difference, the price. And obviously, Kind Masters for mobile devices and Final Cut Pros for Mac computers. And we're gonna judge it on the period of time for three years. And the reason I say three years is because when you open a YouTube channel, obviously you're not gonna quit in the first few months because it will take some time to grow. So to pay for Kind Master annually for one year, that'll be $22.99. And to round it up, $23. And for three years, that'll be $69. But for Final Cut Pro, it's actually a one-time charge, $300. And Final Cut Pro is lifetime, so if you use it for five, six, seven years, the price will be lower per year. Also, you can use Kind Master completely free, but although with watermark. But Final Cut Pro, on the other hand, you can use it completely free without watermark, but after 90 days, you have to pay for it. But still, with 90 days, you can use the full power of the software, which is great. Now let's talk about the interface itself before we go to the features. And in Kind Master, obviously you have to use your finger, zoom in, zoom out, make crop, and any other adjustments. So technically you could say your fingers are the trackpad or mouse. And since Final Cut Pro is on Mac computers, you can actually use the mouse and trackpad. And that's of course more specific with editing than your fingers. And then of course your screen size, that's the obvious difference. Because to edit your videos better, the bigger screen size is always a plus. Now when it comes to the interface itself, Kind Master has a really good one. It's easy to use, easy to learn, and there's a lot of different features. It's probably one of the best interfaces I ever saw while editing. And the same for Final Cut Pro as well. Very intuitive, easy to learn, easy to edit, but of course more advanced. And to post good quality videos, both platforms are sufficient enough. They both have multi-layer editing, they both have green screen and keyframing and some other features. Which brings me to the first point, how much layers can you put on each app? Kind Master says the amount of layers depends on how powerful your device is. Probably most phones can get three to four layers and new phones probably even more. But on Final Cut Pro, it can even handle up to 50 or even 100 layers. And even on an old iMac, we have a late 2015 iMac and it can easily handle 10 or even 15 layers. The software will slow down a little bit, but the point is it can handle it. Now let's go to some features of both apps. And of course, we're going to start with Kind Master. So in Kind Master, you go to media, select the first clip and put it on the timeline. Obviously, you can adjust the audio and uh, change the color, speed it up or slow it down. And if you want to take some part out, you can delete it to the right of the playhead or the left of the playhead or just split it. Then you can make adjustments to the smaller clip. And the same thing with Final Cut Pro, you can delete or cut out unnecessary parts and etc. And since it's basic editing, all softwares and apps could do this. Another cool thing that Final Cut Pro and Kind Master has is keyframing. And you can technically think of it as manual motion tracking, since motion tracking tracks an object or your hands. And obviously over here, you have to do it frame by frame. But it's still a great tool to animate things around the screen. And both Final Cut Pro and Kind Master do a really good job at it. Of course, Final Cut Pro is way more sophisticated. And on Final Cut Pro, you can actually see the keyframes, but you can also do that on Kind Master. But in Final Cut Pro, you can see the red line of the entire movement of that object, which is a little better. And you can keyframe it so it looks like a curve as well. As far as removing the green screen goes, they both have good chroma key tools and with certain adjustments to make good chroma key. And then Final Cut Pro, removing the green screen, you can do it more specifically. And one additional feature that Kind Master doesn't have, but Final Cut Pro does, you can actually see objects out of the frame. And this especially helps if you want to make your video animated or adjust things outside the frame. Another feature is masking that both apps have. In Kind Master, you can only use the shape mask provided, but in Final Cut Pro, you can make unlimited points for the mask. You can even make a few hundred point mask if you want to go into detail. And if you edit a lot of videos, this is a huge difference. Actually, this is one of the biggest differences. 
Another huge difference is, in Final Cut Pro, you can keyframe any effect from color or to black and white or just any single effect that you put in your video. And you can gradually do this to make it smooth. You can do this in Kai Master too, but it's very limited. But if you want to adjust audio volume gradually, both platforms can do this, which is actually a great thing to have. So for example, this is on Kind Master, you can adjust the volume envelope. And this is why Kind Master is such a good editing mobile app. And keyframing in Kind Master, you cannot keyframe the first layer unless you do it with pen and zoom, but that's a little bit different. But in Final Cut Pro, you can keyframe the first layer. So that makes for such a cool effect if you want to start your video in a different way. And as far as the extra features go on Final Cut Pro and Kind Master, they both have a lot of extra features like color grading tools, transitions, music adjustments, audio adjustments, and etc. Except for Final Cut Pro, it has a little bit more. Also, organizing files and projects are much more easy on Final Cut Pro since you have it on computer. And as far as speeding up the clip and slowing down the clip, both apps have it. However, Final Cut Pro is more sophisticated because it has more options. And in Final Cut Pro, you have speed rem, so you can make really cool effects like this. So before I give you my opinion if upgrading to Final Cut Pro is worth it or not, I'm gonna give you the quote. And the movie trivia quote is, Brothers, I see in your eyes the same fear that would take the heart of me. A day may come when the courage of men fails, when we forsake our friends and break all bonds of fellowship, but it's not this day. Guess the movie title first and correctly and you'll get a shout out in the next video. So the main differences between the two are, so number one, more sophisticated editing on Final Cut Pro. Number two, you can put more layers in Final Cut Pro. Also multi-point masking tools, which is great on Final Cut Pro. And Final Cut Pro can keyframe any effect and tool. And that's a little limited to Kind Master. Another thing is easier file organization in Final Cut Pro. Also another plus for Final Cut Pro is you can use trackpad or mouse for more advanced editing. Another thing is you can more specifically adjust every tool in Final Cut Pro. So here's a summary. If you're on mobile, definitely get Kind Master because it's a really good editing app. And if you have Mac and you have the budget for Final Cut Pro, I would definitely recommend it. Because not only number one, it'll bring your editing skills to the next level, and it'll make it so much easier for you. Obviously, there's gonna be some time period to learn the software, but it's gonna pay off eventually. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. If you wanna actually know how to edit with Final Cut Pro or Kind Master, click one of these two playlists. They both have tips for video editing. I hope you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!